welcome back to our YouTube channel. So as you see by the title of this video, I'm still doing so much stuff with our house. So I decided that during my closet process, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about what's going on and how we're doing it. And I have posted some like Instagram and TikTok. So I said, hey, like why not make a YouTube video so I can show you guys step-by-step step the entire closet process. And I'm so excited to show you. But before I show you guys everything, make sure you subscribe and like this video if you wanna see more home decor and design videos me. So before I get started on showing you guys everything, let me just walk you through what we had to do. So when we first moved in, my closet, like the master curve closet, it was a little bit smaller than I was expecting, which I was pretty surprised because there's the spaces in the house are pretty big. So for the closet to be like on the smaller side, I tried to get the builder to adjust it, but it was too late in the process. But interestingly enough, like my closet was backed up to another closet. So I was like, hey, like this other closet we're most likely won't be using. So what if we knock down this wall, make it a few feet bigger, got some contractors in to like check it out and make sure it was possible. And they said it was possible. So as soon as they said that, we knocked down that wall just so I could have a slightly bigger space. So that project in itself took quite a few days and there was like so much dust in the house. Like my allergies went insane. So after that, we had to tear down all of the shelving, the previous shelving that was there. And that created like a lot of drywall damage. And so then I had to get another contractor out to repair the drywall. And then I did some bootleg painting over it. Fast forward, I decided to get some built-ins in the closet, which I've always wanted. It's always been on like my wish list. I like everywhere we've lived, I've wished we had like a container store looking closet. So I found a company that did some similar like closets like that. But the cool thing is they let you design everything. They help you. And then they make like a 3D rendering of how it's going to come out. So you can adjust things and change it up to like fit you. And it's like completely custom to you, your height, like all of that. So that was super exciting. Once I found the people to do that, Desmond actually told me that he was gonna let me design his closet and just surprise him with it. And that's like right up my alley. So I started to put some stuff together. I worked with the designer. Um, we created some 3D renderings and oh my gosh, it was amazing. So the entire process start to finish, like from when I reached out to the company and until they built it in took about three months. We were living like outside of our closet. Like we had nothing in the closet and all of our clothes and like random spaces in the house for about three months. It was pretty intense. Our crap was everywhere. But when they finally came to like build it all, um, I'd say it only took about three and a half to four days. They just finished it. So I'm gonna show you guys the finished product and I think I'm gonna load some stuff in the closet. Okay, so it's a couple days later. The closets are pretty much done. I will say they're like 99% done. I say that because there's like two doors that need to be installed on there, but they didn't have the correct hinges, so they have to come back and do that. But I'm gonna start loading stuff in the closet. I am so excited. They came out so great. Right, let me show y'all. I love how it came together. I feel like for the space, the amount of space that he has, I feel like it was allocated really well. We have hang up, we have storage, storage, shoes, hang up. This is a tie rack and this is a belt rack. He requested a lot of drawers. So he has a lot of drawer space. Most of Desmond's clothes end up being folded. So that's why we have all of the storage here. He only really hangs up his dress clothes. So I feel like this is the perfect space for him. And a laundry hamper, which he already started using. Obsessed. All right, let's go to my closet. Okay, here's my closet. Oh my gosh, it came out so good okay i'm like in awe like this is perfect disclaimer right here is going to be countertop but i'm getting that done from another vendor so they'll be coming soon these are the doors i was talking about these doors are eventually going to cover this space right here it just looks like clean cut but behind the doors hang up space a lot of it actually obviously i wear so much activewear and like so much home clothes so that's why i wanted 
this amount of drawers. I mean, most of my clothes are pretty much folded as well. Storage, all of that stuff. Hang up, hang up, more storage. Laundry hamper. So I have shoe space, more storage. And I like that I can put my boots down here. There's obviously a few things we need to get fixed. We're gonna have to get some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, what is it called? <sighs> I can't think of it right now. We gotta get that installed. So that's it. Literally my closet is gonna be just filled with a whole bunch of activewear. I'm not one who really cares to spend a lot on clothes and stuff. So this is like, <laughs> it's just gonna be thousands of leggings. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. So how I'm gonna do this video, I'm just gonna like do a behind the scenes like of me putting everything in the closet. Our room we're restoring all of our closet stuff right now is a mess. It's a mess. I've been dying to get everything in here because like the disorganization right now is causing me to go crazy. I've been waiting on this moment. So let's get started. Okay, this is like, this is an extreme mess. This has just been accumulating all my crap, my new crap that I haven't been able to hang up. We may tackle this first, but you guys are gonna die when you see the next pile. Okay, come on, don't even judge me. I literally like at the flip of a, <laughs> at the flip of a dime had to pull everything out of the closet and throw it in here so we could do work. And my gosh, it, it was organized at first and then it just turned into a mountain. That's embarrassing. Okay, but first, since I'm incredibly jerk Germaphobe. I need to sanitize everything. If you guys follow me on TikTok, Instagram, you know that anything that's new in this house goes through the sanitization process. So let's go. We got our goods. I don't even know where to start. I'm just gonna power through this because I'm just ready to fill this thing up. Okay, so now for Desmond's sanitization, we're gonna give him the bootleg version because we all know he doesn't care. Like, I'm not even about to hop up there because I just know Desmond doesn't care. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> I really don't know if I should do my clothes first or Desmond's. I feel like I wanna do Desmond's, but his is like kind of all over the place right now, as mine is too. <sighs> Let's do Desmond's. This is gonna be much harder all right, hanging up the suit. Put them on here. Yeah. How cute! How cute is that? Okay. Next one. So I'm loading in Desmond's suits. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put all his like complete suits here, then do dress shirts, then do dress pants. Put all of his active wear in here, and then anything casual goes there. That. Works out well. All right, come on in. <laughs> Go take a look at your closet. I'm just getting <laughs> Dang, check me out. <laughs> <laughs> look at my suits looking so fly. Yes, girl. You like it? I do. You like your shoes? Yeah. I know you have some more stuff that needs to be loaded in here, yeah, but this clean is some of those things. clean what? The shoes? Oh yeah. Open your drawers. A couple of them don't have anything because I know you wanted the flexibility. Not that one either. I gave you a free one. <laughs> Will I see a drawer with something? <laughs> so those are your shirts. Okay, okay. So I'm a little, little... workout shirts. Those are your sweat what shirts, thing? like hoodies. And those are your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Look, disclaimer, the sweatshirts are really ugly in here, but you just had so many. This is the overflow. That's organization <laughs> if you ask me. Yeah. You like wow, it? I love it. That looks awesome. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Dozen's closet done. So here's all of my active wear. I literally wear active wear every single day. I wasn't joking when I told you guys earlier, like, 90% of my closet is activewear. So that's why I got all these drawers. I'm gonna attempt to organize this, put it away. <sighs> Can't promise you that I'm gonna fold it. This is way too much. I don't even know, how should I organize this? Probably leggings, maybe like zip up jackets here. I don't know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. <sighs> so I figured since I gotta do all this, why don't we do a story time? 
A question that I get a lot, obviously y'all know like how we met and kind of like the course of our relationship, but something I've never answered before is why we got back together. Because if you know, we broke up like at the beginning of our relationship before we got married, but we found our way back to each other. So a lot of you guys are so nosy <laughs> and y'all ask why we broke up and why we got back together. So I'm gonna answer it. Why is this in here? It's not. So I guess I'll just start from the beginning. We met each other at 14 and 15. I was 14, Dustin was 15. We kind of knew from the beginning that we wanted to get married. So we had plans when we were teenagers that, hey, like when we become adults, we're gonna get married. Even to the extent that, <laughs> this is not good, I don't recommend this, but even to the extent that we were like, maybe we can get parental sign off so we can get married at 17 instead. But um, yeah, no, I don't recommend that. Not at all, but that's just how like, <laughs> how serious we were about it. We were pretty serious about each other. And honestly, nothing went wildly wrong in the relationship for us to decide to kind of like go our separate ways. To be honest, the reason why we didn't like continue on and work out that first time is because we both had some goals that we wanted to reach before pursuing our relationship together. It was really important to both of us to reach those goals before continuing. And honestly, we never declared that we were going to get back together. Like, we just knew that we both had some things we wanted to work on and do and goals to reach. And we mutually just knew that. It wasn't like a one big conversation. We were like, okay, like, this is it. Like, no, it naturally just ended. And we went from talking every day to not talking at all. And it was kind of weird. Like, you could ask Devin, like, he had no idea we were going to get back together. And you, if you would have asked me at that time, like, I didn't think we were going to get back together. I thought that was done. I just realized that was that. There was some heartbreak. I kind of was on board with both of us just doing what we needed to do, but because we didn't communicate well, we weren't on the same page. I do think he was a little heartbroken. <laughs> he probably would be mad that I'm like saying all this. <laughs> but I was kind of like, hey, like, gotta do what you gotta do. Like, it's all good. Like, like, I am all over the place with speaking about it, but it reflects on just how, like, all over the place it was. Like, it wasn't a one conversation. It wasn't like something happened bad. It literally just faded off. And we both knew, we both had things that we wanted to do before being in a relationship. Like we wanted to both better ourselves. So that's what happened. To answer the question of why we got back together. When Desmond and I were apart, we both had friends of opposite sex. We both had like people we probably liked and crushed on, but we both agreed that like none of those people compared to either of us. And that's something we agreed on later. When Desmond and I got back in communication, it was completely unexpected. We met at a mutual friends event and it was just a surprise. And from there, Desmond just asked me like, hey, do you wanna go out on a date? So we went out for dinner one day and we just talked about everything. Desmond told me that day, he was like, I'm definitely marrying you this time. Like, I shouldn't say this time because we're so young. And at this point we we're only like 18. So he was like, I'm definitely like, I'm definitely marrying you. Like we were both on the same page. Like I think we both knew that having that time apart and being able to grow individually was exactly what we needed. To this day, even though we ended up coming back together and like being so happy and creating a life together, like I still do not regret having that break. Cause there wasn't anything wrong before, but we were kids and we still were kids when we got married. We were 18, 19 or 19 and 20 when we got married. But you know, it's good to have some time apart so you could kind of figure some things out. Well, and honestly, like when we got back together, we weren't perfect. There was still room to grow. So we grew together. No one's perfect, obviously. So like any relationship, there's growth that needs to be done together. And that could just be little things like, hey, you need to work on being organized. I don't really know. It could be little things, it could be big things, but every relationship there is gonna be room for growth. So that's my TED talk for the day. I will say like, I think someone's asking like, how'd you know he was the one? Based off of how he treated me. If you have to question if someone's treating you right, they probably aren't treating you right. And with Desmond, I never had to question that. Well, that's one of the reasons why I knew he was the one. Apart from the fact we click so well, we're both on the same page with a lot of things, with pretty much everything. We treat each other with respect and I think that's really big in a relationship and I just knew that it was as important to him as it was to me. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this up and I will show you guys the end result of the joints. Okay, so I loaded all of my clothes in. I still have to do my shoes, but man, I'm gonna do that another day. Look at the progress. All of these drawers are filled to the brim and I'm actually going through all my clothes right now and seeing what I wanna donate. 
I'm so happy. I'm gonna fill these with like with like decorative boxes and like little knickknacks, accent decor, stuff like that. So I'm putting all the clothes I'm gonna donate in here. I'm gonna put that up for sale later. But that's the progress for the day. This was fun. Like I think I'm gonna start doing some like more home type of videos, whether it's home decor, organization, just the progress of our house. Let me know if you guys want to see more of that. But if you guys like this video, make sure you press like. Um, what, what else? Make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be making more YouTube videos. Um, I'm gonna be way more consistent. So watch out for that. Oh my gosh, fans, are you hiding? <laughs> You're so cute.